Gavin Conner's love for soccer started at a young age while playing with his friends at recess. Coming up through recreational leagues and club teams, he's had a dream of playing in college. However, his journey hasn't always been easy. And then the more we watched him and start seeing him try and crawl using one arm, we immediately took him to a neurologist and they did a brain scan. And you could see a little bit of damage on the left side of his brain, which is that's the side that controls your right side. Conor was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, which is a disorder of movements, muscles, or posture. Now a senior at Northwest Christian High School, he hasn't let this restrict him. I mean, it's been hard at some points because, like, um, you got to, like, adapt with it. Nothing you can get rid of, so you got to learn how to live with it. It's been hard at some times, but over the years, you could learn to accept it. At 15, Conor joined the U.S. Paralympic soccer team, where he first heard about a similar team at Clemson University. So ever since then, which was probably about eighth grade, is when I had my eyes set on Clemson. This fall, he'll put on a Clemson uniform after he received an academic and athletic scholarship to play for Clemson's Paralympic soccer team. Like, I didn't even honestly know what to expect. When I first applied, like, it was just surreal. I, like... No words, honestly. First, probably more like happy, proud, right? And then all of a sudden you see he has to report like June 24th, and then that's the gut sink that, ooh, that's a couple months. His determination and drive has made an impact on everyone around him. It's it's helped us almost as much as it's helped him, you know, in terms of seeing how somebody can fight through something and, and live with something and still be determined and reach goals. I mean, it's been inspiring. Conor looks forward to where his soccer career will go from here. In Phoenix, Madden Johnstone Thomas, Cronkite News.